Okay, we're at Western Iowa Tech here today and we're going to demonstrate uh, the conventional way of installing a Harley-Davidson cylinder on this Evolution motor versus a previous video we just did of a quote-unquote trick. So, kind of got a lot of hands in here more than normal, but that's okay. These students are just uh, getting after this to be pretty quick. They got the piston ring uh, installation tool on here. Uh, one thing we've talked about in previous videos, you do not need to weld that down. It has a ratcheting clamp here. This is very fine tooth. You're going to hurt the tool if you do it too hard. So they're going to go ahead and uh, install this. Do we have the, they're holding the crankshaft over here so that the engine doesn't turn. Now one thing that's great about the cylinders here, especially stock cylinders, is they have a lead in. So if, if, you, if you just have the compression tool down a hair, I'll lift that up for a second. You can see this space here. That space will just sit into the lead in the cylinder and it'll guide it so you don't break a ring. Now what they're doing here is they're definitely going to back and forth real light taps. Uh, some people will just simply slap their hand on it to get it down as long as you don't have uh, anything that's hurting it. They do have the piston far enough up so that we're not going to, so we have room to clear, have to get the tool out of there. They're going to kind of fold that through. This way is a little bit harder on the tool, but if you take your time like they're doing here, it's not going to be any problem. Go ahead. And go the rest of the way down. So they're going to pay real close attention to the gasket here to make sure that they're not going to pinch that gasket. It will move around. Is it on its dowel pin still on that other side? All right. That's one way to do this. One note that I want to make is, as all you guys are listening up, is we demonstrated two different ways to do this. An unconventional way, which is not in a service manual, but, but works real well when you're working by yourself, or maybe even just one person. If I was working by myself, I would still have to have a way to retain that uh, crankshaft from turning. Uh, s, s Engines makes a tool that, that I personally own that actually goes onto these splines, but it has a bolt so you can bolt it in place and hold the engine in place. And so you can put it in any position you need to to lock it in place and bolt it, and then it won't spin on you. There are ways to do this stuff one-handed. You guys obviously as a group really preferred this method over the trick because you'd have to worry about the wrist clip and dealing with that and the weight of the cylinder and everything else. If I were to challenge you to do it by yourself, which way do you think you'd like to do it? What's that? You'd still rather do it the conventional way? And that's fine, and that's what's great about this. There's more than one way to skin a cat, but at least we've given you guys some options of how to do this. Because that's it for today.